Hi, where are you guys? Come here. To the tree. tree. Are we going in? Go. We are not. We have to have some dinner. Right? Just going to get another voice on. Very, very jealous. Yay. The good thing is that 
Now, Bouncer is the youngest of all three of our sea lions. He will be turning 12 years Yay. old next month, and he's been with us since just before his second birthday. He came all the way from Belfast, soon, which is in Ireland. So, what a bounty. Now, Bouncy, do you think you can be out of bed? Go on. I, I believe in you. Show how it's done. you all have to be so we're going to have a practice you can do it exactly like a sea lion it'll be really really funny so you ready one two three <laughs> we are going to get bounty to give you all a great big wave when he makes his way past you do wave back at him because otherwise he'll feel quite left out and i would like to see you guys who's had a very long enough to wave people so we want him to feel very very special once that's established, we introduce that funny looking stick. And all that we want Bouncer to do is to touch it to the end of his nose. The very first time he did that, we blew the whistle, gave him loads of fish, told him that he was the best sea lion in the entire world. And now you can see that Bouncer will follow that target around in lots and lots of different places. And this is the first time he gets lots of things to do with that. So he did get very, very creative. Now, if you have any little ones, please do just keep them back. Nikki is Scottish. She doesn't care if she puts yeah. truth out of the way. I've seen it happen. She tattoos a little bit like sea lion sign language. That tells the sea lions exactly what we want them from. But the water, we just have to point above the glass and bounce it will go up and touch it. That was very, very nice. We have decided to be today. It's going to be a transformation, I promise you. Look at that. He's a caterpillar, everyone. That is amazing. Give him a cheer. In the other few months, they will go up onto land, and this is their breeding season. Now, we're going to say goodbye to Bounty. Give him a big cheer. Bye, bye. Now, the next sea lion who will be coming out and joining us is called Jack. Complete opposite of Bounty. He's very, very lazy, he's very, very grumpy, and he likes to sleep all of the time. I can really relate to this animal, but when he comes out, do give him a big cheer. There he is. Be gorgeous, Jack. Now, Jack is also the naughtiest sea lion that we have here. He likes to bite the other sea lions on the bottom, don't you, Jack? You think that's very, very funny. But do you promise to behave yourself today? Yes. You all now hopefully he's going to go and get it. The reason that Jack did that is that this is changed another behaviour in which she wanted Jack to stay on his stand. So now he assumes that that's what she wants for everything. But give him a cheer because he got that very, very nice. All the way to three. She's very, very loud. Please be louder than her. So here we go with three numbers. Now they were quite good for kid. Unfortunately you're from Glasgow so you're very, very noisy. Please drown her out. So here we go with number yeah. three. Oh. Yes. Oh. I'm not going to tell you what it is because I'm not going to say what for failure. But give him a cheer whatever he does. Oh. Him a cheer as he heads off the stage. Yeah. Very, very nice by the name of Carol. He is the oldest of the bunch. He's actually going to be 15 years old next month. Now, Carol, we've got to sort something out because we are about 12 minutes into this show. But I can guarantee some people are sitting here thinking that you are the wrong animal because people always call our sea lions the wrong things. They go called whale, dolphin, otter, walrus, yeah. seashell. But the most common one is a seal. And it makes them very, very sad indeed. Because they are way better than seals. And hopefully, we're going to show you three differences. Now, the first one is a little bit difficult to see because it's on Callum's head. So on either side of that head, he has tiny little earlobes. You can definitely see them if you are close like Vicky is. 
If you cannot see an ears, you are looking at a seal. Bring to do an impression of what he thinks a seal moves around like. So seals have some little and fixed hip joints. So they have to move around on their tummies just like that when they do come up onto land, which is very, very embarrassing for Callum. And this is because he's a sea lion. So he has a rotating hip joint instead. And this means that those back flippers can tuck underneath himself and he's quite agile up on the land. These guys are really, really fast. They can jump, they can run faster than everyone here. But we're not going to have a running race to prove that. It's way too hot for a running race. So instead, Vicky, we're going to send Callum all the way up that big terrifying tower and he's going to jump off. What's wrong? Someone's lead has got to go up. Everyone, Callum is scared. <laughs> Not a single person cares that he's scared. Are you ready? You've got to be as loud as you can. So I'll count you down. In three, two, one, go! <laughs> now everyone, this is the difficult bit. To get Callum to jump off the tower, Vicky has to work away from the only bit of shade on this stage. So if she thinks that you are not being loud enough, she's just going to stay there and it'll be a rubbish show. So you've got to be as loud as you can, so we're going to try again. In three, two, one! Yay! That's what we want. So that is the second difference, and we're quickly going to... Also launch themselves out at height from around three metres. So that's one, and then all the way around to the next one. Very, very nice. Now hopefully we have shown you the differences between seals and sea lions. So if I were to ask you what Carol was, you will shout! Yeah. Yeah. Who shouted to I heard someone. Now this does bring us to the end of our sea lion show. For all of our boys and Vicky have worked really, really hard, so please do give them a round of applause. And yeah. you yeah. the round of applause for sitting in the sunshine. I know it is your best. Now on that note, I'm going to ask you to sit in it for just a few minutes longer. We promised we would get you out of here as quickly as we can. We understand that it's very, very warm. But thank you very much for coming and watching the show and enjoy the rest of your day here at the park. Thank you, guys.